Hi, this is John. This is a tutorial for creating a lenticular effect in After Effects. You won't need any third-party plugins. You will need two pictures. Open the first one in Photoshop to make things a little bit easier in After Effects. You need to make your pictures the same size that your comp will be in After Effects. Go to Image, Image Size, change the width to 1920 and click OK. Select the crop tool and from the drop down menu select 16 by 9 and click the tick to apply. Now the picture will have the same dimensions as the comp that we're going to make. Click and hold on the crop tool and select the slice tool. Click and drag over your picture Right click on your picture and select Divide Slice. Select Divide Vertically into and type 20 in the Slices Across Evenly Spaced box. Click OK. Now go to File, Export and save for web legacy. Click on save. Make sure all slices is selected under slices. Rename to pick one or something like that. And click save. And that will save each slice as an individual image. Now you need to repeat this process for the second picture. Just remember to change the file name to pick2 so you don't get the slices mixed up. Now in a new project in After Effects, in the project panel create a new folder and name it pick1. Create another new folder and name it pick2. Open the folder where you saved your slices. Select all slices for pick one and drag them into the pick one folder in the project panel. And do the same for your pick two slices into the pick two folder. Click on the create new comp button. Make sure the new comp is 1920 by 1080, the same as your images, and about 10 seconds long. Open the pick one folder in the project panel and select all the images and drag them onto the timeline. All the slices should be stacked on top of each other with the first one at the top and the last one at the bottom. Go to the Align panel. If it's not there, go to Window and select Align. Set Align Layers to Composition from the drop-down menu. And with all the slices still selected, select Align Left. Deselect the layers and select the bottom one, the last slice and align that to the right. Select the top layer and while holding shift select the bottom layer. In the align panel change align layers to selection and press distribute right. If you deselect all the layers your image should now be whole again. Select all the layers and make them 3D. Go to Layer, New, Null Object. Make the null 3D. Select all the slices and using the pick width, parent them to the null object. 
change the active camera view to the top view. With all the slices still selected, press R to reveal the rotation properties. Change the Y rotation to 60. Select the active camera view again. Select all the slices layers and make them shy layers. Hide the slice layers and select the shy option. That will make it easier to set up the second image. To set up the second image is just the same as setting up the first one. Drag the slices for the second image into the comp. Align the layers to the left of the composition. Select the last image and align to the right of the composition. Select all the image layers. In the Align panel, change Align Layers to Selection and Distribute to the right. Make all the image layers 3D. Go to Layer, New, Null Object. Make the second null 3D. Select all Image 2's slices and parent them to Null 2. With all image 2 slices selected, press R for rotation and change the Y rotation to minus 60. Collapse the layers and make them shy layers. Unhide all shy layers and make pick 1 slices visible again. Move null 2 to underneath null 1. Select null 1 and press enter to rename it something like pick one control. Do the same for null two, but pick two control. Select the top view. With pick two control layer selected, press P for position. Adjust the position on the X axis until the layers line up to form a sort of zigzag. Select the active camera view. Create another null object. Move it to the top, make it 3D. Hit enter and change its name to lenticular control. Select both pick 1 and 2 control nulls and parent them to the lenticular control null with the pick whip. Select the lenticular control layer, press R for rotation, and adjusting the Y rotation, you get the lenticular effect. Press P for position and move the whole lenticular image to the right a little bit. So the whole thing's a bit more centered. Go to layer, new, camera. Twenty eight millimeter should be fine, and click OK. Select the camera one view. Press P for position and move the camera back on the Z axis. Select the lenticular control layer and press R. Press the stopwatch for the Y rotation to create a keyframe. Adjust the angle so that you can only see one of the images. Move the time indicator to the end of the timeline. 
and adjust the Y rotation so that you see the other image. Move the last keyframe to about 5 seconds. And with the time indicator at the end of the timeline, adjust the rotation so you get back to the first image. If you do a RAM preview, it will go from one image to the other and back again. Enable motion blur for all layers, and you're done. Now if you want it to continually spin and have another two pictures reveal on the other side, go through the whole process that you did for the first two pictures, again for images three and four, but have images three and four in a separate comp. For this tutorial, I'll just duplicate the first comp. First, delete the keyframes from the first comp and reset the Y rotation to zero. Delete the camera, create a new comp, wrap the comp with your first two images from the project panel onto the timeline and make it 3D. Select the Collapse Transformations box. This is where you would drag your second comp that has your third and fourth images onto the timeline. But I'm just going to duplicate the first comp. Both comps will have to have the Collapse Transformation box checked. I'll select the first comp and rename it Picks 1 and 2 and then select the second comp and rename it picks 3 and 4. Select the top view. Select the picks 3 and 4 comp and press R for rotation. Rotate the Y 180 degrees. Press P for position, adjust the Z position so that picks 3 and 4 comp is behind picks 1 and 2 comp. Go to layer, new, null object. Make the null 3D. Press P for position and adjust the Z properties until the null is in between the two comps. Parent the two layers using the pick whip. Change back to the active camera view. Right click on the timeline, go to new and then camera, click OK. Select the null object and press R for rotation. Adjusting the Y rotation, you can now see that there is now another two images on the other side if you created a comp with another two images. Set the Y back to zero and Alt click on the stopwatch and type time times 75 and press enter. If you do a RAM preview, it should continuously spin. Enable motion blur for the comp and you're done. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.